one's about the inverse normal distribution. So uh, basically it's where you know a probability, uh, but you don't know uh, what number you need to be less than or greater than. Uh, so it's kind of the reverse of everything we've been doing in the past. So this says the probability that Z, which means we're dealing with a standard normal distribution, is less than C is equal to 0 0.57. And the question is find C. Okay, I'm just going to draw what this would look like on a, on a curve. So here's my curve. Now it's a standard normal distribution, which means that the mean is 0 and the standard deviation is 1. Uh, now it says Z is less than C and it's equal to 0 0.57. So the probability is more than 50%. Uh, if it was 50%, uh, exactly 50%, then it would just be like this half of it, right? Z less than zero. And so it would be the probability is Z is less than zero is equal to 0 0.50. The fact that it's more than 0 0.57 means that it's more like about there somewhere. I will just color that in. Okay. And what we're trying to find is this value right here, C. All right, so let's use it stat mode. I'm going to go into distributions, normal distributions, and we're going to do the inverse normal distribution. Okay, uh, now from here, data, variable, tail, left. Watch what happens when I go to tail. I can have a left tail, a right tail, or a center tail. Now, left tail, it just means we're going from uh, some C value towards the left, which is what we want here. Okay, so we're going to go left tail on this particular question the area the area under the curve is the is the is this value here so 0 0.57 and it's a standard normal so it's one zero and i can calculate that and it says that c is 0 0.1763 uh, 0 0.1763 now, this is the inverse normal distribution. So this is not part of the, the question, but you could check that if you wanted to by going back to our stat menu, um, back to our distribution, our normal distribution, our normal CD, and then seeing if that's true. So if my uh, lower value was negative 10,000, so over here, and if my upper value were 0 0.1763, and it was a standard normal one zero, I can draw that. And you can see it looks exactly like what I did there. And the probability is 0 0.5699, which is close enough to 0 0.57. I just rounded that. I would have got the right answer if I had gone to like six decimal places. All right, so that's what the normal distribution and the inverse normal distribution is doing. This one says the probability that Z is less than or equal to C is equal to 0 0.25. Uh, now, the only difference with this question, normal distribution, standard normal, so 0, uh, zero 1, is that the probability is less than 0.5. Uh, so Z is less than C equals 0 0.25. So that area there is going to be 0 0.25. It's less than that. So we should have expected like a negative C value here because this is the standard normal. So inverse normal distribution still a left tail because we're heading off in that direction uh, the area is 0 0.25 and I get an answer of negative 0 0.6 so C equals negative 0 0.6744 okay let's flip things around here with another example uh, the probability that Z is greater than or equal to C equals 0 0.91 Okay, so it's still a normal distribution because we're dealing with the Z. So we've still got the 0 and 1 there. The difference here is that Z is greater than C. Uh, and the probability is 0 0.91. So 0 0.91, the whole area is 1. So it's going to be most of the normal distribution. Uh, but Z is greater than. So this time we're moving in this direction. The C value must be like there somewhere. And we're trying to find all of that stuff. So going back to inverse normal distribution, this time we're moving in that direction. So we're using the right tail. So I need to change it to right tail. 
area of 0.91, standard normal distribution, calculate it, I get an answer of C equals negative 1.340. Thinking to yourself, okay, we've done a left tail, we've done a right tail, what about a center tail? Uh, let's look at this one. The probability that negative c is less than z, which is less than c, equals 0.9544. Okay, let's see. We've got a normal distribution uh, 0, 1. Uh, now, there's some c value for negative and positive c. So there's, neg there's c or negative c, there's c. Now the distance between negative c and zero is the same as zero and c, obviously. C is the same number. Uh, and which I want to find this area here. Uh, and we're going to say that that's 0 0.9544. Now how are we going to do that? Well, we're going to have to use the center. We have our normal distribution, distribution, normal distribution, inverse. Uh, let's use a center tail right now, center. And the area we're interested in is 0 0.9544. Okay, let's calculate that. Okay, it gives us two numbers, right? Uh, and that's that makes sense. So C is equal to uh, 1.999. So obviously that's negative 1.999, and that's positive 1.999. So here, let's do one more question. A class's marks are normally distributed with mean 21 and standard deviation 3. So it's not a standard normal like all these were. What mark do the top 10% of students score better than? Okay, so um, we're looking for the probability that x uh, is greater than or equal to c um, is equal to 0.1. So drawing that on a normal distribution, we have a normal distribution, uh, a mean of 21 and a standard deviation of three. And we're looking for the top 10% of students, which is 0 0.1. Let's put 0 0.1 in there. Okay, and so that's the area that we're looking for. We're asking what number do they score more than C? Okay, so calculator out. This time we're doing a right tail. The area we're looking for is 0.1. Uh, now you need to be careful here. Standard deviation is 3 and the mean is 21. Okay, they need to score more than 24.84. Uh, so, um, Students scoring more than 24.844 are in the top 10%. Uh, now, of course, I can double check that, and I will, because it seems like an important question. Normal, uh, normal CD. Now, the upper is like a million, right? The lower is the number I just came up with, 24.844. Um, the, where have we got? Standard deviation of three, mean of 21. Let's draw it up. Okay, and you can see it's giving me an answer of 0 0.1000, and then a little bit of a rounding error. So that area there is 10%, which is what I thought it was gonna be in the first place. That's inverse normal distributions.